Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be learning all about these nine dinosaurs. We have a Mosasaurus, a Stegosaurus, a Triceratops, a Velociraptor, Carnotaurus, Brachiosaurus, Dilophosaurus, Spinosaurus, and a T-Rex. If you'd like to learn about these dinosaurs, keep watching. Up first, we have the Mosasaurus. The Mosasaurus is also called Lizard of the Meuse River. Mosasaurus lived in the late Cretaceous period between 66 and 70 million years ago. The, the largest ever discovered was 56 feet in length. And as you can see, this dinosaur is very long. The Mosasaurus is often compared to a whale because it lived in the ocean or the seas, spent all of its time in the water, and with its sharp spiked teeth, it ate lots of fish and other aquatic life. If you've seen the new Jurassic World movie, you probably recognize this guy. Up next is a Stegosaurus, which also happens to be one of my favorites. Stegosaurus also means roofed lizard. As you can see, all of his spikes kind of look like a roof. Stegosauruses, on average, are measured four meters tall, which is about 14 feet, and nine meters long, which is about 30 feet, which is very long. Stegosauruses weighed about two tons, which is similar to the average American car. That's a heavy dinosaur. Stegosauruses lived during the late Jurassic period, which is about 150 million years ago. That's a long time away. As you can see on this cute little guy, that he has a little tiny beak. And he used this beak to eat lots of different plants and leaves because he was an herbivore. Stegosauruses are herbivores. Up next, we have the Velociraptor, which is also a favorite of mine. Velociraptors are called Swift Caesars or the Speedy Thief because they were believed to run very, very fast. They lived during the late Cretaceous period around 73 million years ago. And unlike the movies like Jurassic Park or Jurassic World, these little guys were a lot smaller than how they were depicted in the movies. They were about the size of a turkey. You know the little turkeys that gobble gobble? Yeah, a lot smaller than how they're shown in the movies. They only weighed about 33 pounds, which means they were only like the size of a toddler. <laughs> in their mouth, they have 26 razor sharp teeth they use to eat meat because they're carnivores. They also have two arms with three claws on each hand, and they're most known for their two feet that they stand on because they have this one giant claw they use. Scientists believe they used these giant claws to help tear apart their meat when they were eating. Now we have the Triceratops. Triceratops got its name by having its three horns. It's called the three-horned face. As you can see, it has the two large horns on top and one by its mouth. The Triceratops head is quite large. In fact, it's one of the largest land animal heads ever discovered. The Triceratops lived during the late Cretaceous period, around 65 million years ago. On average, they were about 8 meters long, or about 26 feet, and they were about 3 meters high, about 10 feet. They were plant-eating dinosaurs, also known as herbivores, and on average they had about 4 to 800 teeth that grew throughout their life. They used these three horns to protect itself from the T-Rex, which also lived during the late Cretaceous period. Here we have the Brachiosaurus, also called the arm lizard. The Brachiosaurus lived during the late Jurassic period, between 153 and 154 million years ago. That was a long time ago. The Brachiosaurus is a very long dinosaur. Scientists believe they were from 59 to 69 feet long from head to tail. And something that big also had to weigh a bunch. 
On average, these grew to be 28 to 62 tons. That's ginormous. Scientists believe that the average lifespan of a Brachiosaurus was 100 years. That's an old dinosaur. They also believe that they use these back legs to help reach their long necks up to the tallest of trees to eat leaves because their back legs are actually longer than their front legs. On average, they had 52 cone-shaped teeth in their little tiny mouths to help them eat leaves and other plant life because they were herbivores. If you've ever seen Land Before Time, you might recognize this dinosaur because he has a long neck. And the main character in that movie is called Littlefoot. And now we have the Carnotaurus, which translates to meat-eating bull. And it kind of looks like a bull with these two horns that protrude just above their eyes. Scientists believe they use these horns to fight other Carnotauruses when they wanted to mate or when they were fighting over food. The Carnotaurus lived during the late Cretaceous period, about 69 to 72 million years ago. They were on average between 24 and 30 feet long. And a fun fact that I didn't even realize is that their front little arms are even smaller than the T-Rex. Scientists believe that they didn't serve much purpose at all. But they do believe that they could run about 25 miles per hour. That's pretty fast. Up next is the Dilophosaurus, which means two crested lizard. If you've ever seen Jurassic Park, you might recognize this guy. He's known for spitting poison and frilling his little neck. But actually, these dinosaurs didn't spit poison and they didn't have these neck frills. In reality, they only had these two crests on top of their head. Another interesting fact that they didn't get right in Jurassic Park was that these were a lot bigger than they showed in that movie. In that movie, they were quite small, kind of the size of a dog, but these were a lot larger. Speaking of Jurassic, this dinosaur existed at the early Jurassic period, about 193 million years ago. That is a very long time ago. Now we have the T-Rex, which is short for Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex translates to Tyrant Lizard King. They existed during the late Cretaceous period about 65 million years ago. The T-Rex is probably the most famous dinosaur I can think of. Everybody knows what a T-Rex is. They love these giant, fast predators. The average T-Rex had about 50 to 60 banana-sized teeth, which is quite large if you think about it. They use these teeth to shred meat and eat their meat because they are carnivores. They also have these little tiny arms that scientists believe that they may have used to help catch their prey, but they also think that they were kind of useless. What's not useless is their brain. A T-Rex brain is twice as large as other large carnivores' brains. So even if their arms were useless, they were very smart at coming up with ways to catch prey. Last, but certainly not least, is the Spinosaurus, which means spine lizard. Do you see this giant spine on its back? These spines grew to be one and a half meters or five feet long. Now that's a big spine. The Spinosaurus lived in the Cretaceous period about a hundred million years ago. Can you count to a hundred million? I certainly can. <laughs> the average Spinosaurus was about 49 feet long. Do you wanna hear something crazy? The Spinosaurus is actually larger than the T-Rex. Spinosaurus is one of the largest carnivores to ever exist. Do you see all these sharp teeth and these claws? I know I'd definitely be afraid of a Spinosaurus. Well, that's all we have for today, but thanks for learning with me today, friends. I had so much fun learning fun facts about all these dinosaurs. They're such amazing creatures. 
If you want to see more dinosaur videos, be sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. Bye.